This is Revelations chapter 12, verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akal Kadash, Brock the Dumb, to the sincere Akim out there that's preaching his word of sincerity and the truth, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And in today's lesson, I'm going to get into the glorious return of our Lord Yahweh Shai and how our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to make war with Esau. He's coming to make war with the so-called white man, which is the biblical red Hebrew Edomites. He's coming to take them out of their rulership because Esau has been given temporary rulership over the earth, pursuing the Job 9 and 24, when it tells you the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So Esau has destroyed this earth. So what is Yahweh Shai coming to do? He's coming to what? To bring forth righteousness to a world based upon wickedness. So he's coming to bring war to the Edomites. So they're going to try to fight the Lord. They're preparing to fight our Lord Yahweh Shai. They have something called the Space Force where they want to weaponize space. Now why do they want to weaponize space? Because they know that's how our Lord is returning. He's returning from the heavens. Revelations chapter 1 verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so to what? So he's coming back with all the holy host of heaven, with all the angels. This is Psalms chapter 68, verse 17. The chariots of the Most High are twenty thousands, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place. So the chariots are the vehicles that the angels travel in, which this world calls them UFOs, but we know them to be IFOs. They're the chariots of Israel, and that's what the Heavenly Father gives his angels to travel in. And that's how the Heavenly Father's son, Yahweh Shai, is going to make his second coming debut on the earth. And what is Esau going to do? He's going to make war with the Lamb. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels. It's talking about a war in the heavens, up in the air, because Esau has something called fighter jets. So the Heavenly Father is going to harden Esau's heart to fight against his son, Yahweh Shah. Because pursuing the Exodus 15 and 3, the scriptures say the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Heavenly Father loves to see a good fight. So he's going to harden Esau's heart to fight his son, Yahweh Shah, when he returns. It says, Revelations chapter 12, verse 7, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels. The dragon is talking about Esau, so-called white man, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven, because he's going to be cast out of his rulership. Pursuing in Daniel 7 and 18, when it says, The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Yahweh Shai is coming to take Esau and all these heathen nations out of their rulership. It says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He deceived the whole world through his lies, through his witchcraft, through his democracy. But guess what? The Heavenly Father's Son is going to take you out of your rulership and put you right into slavery, starting with you elites. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So you're going to be cast out of your rulership. You're going to lose your power. Revelations chapter 6, verse 2. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and the crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. That's talking about Yahweh Shai coming to conquer all these nations to take them out of their rulership. So that's what the Heavenly Father's Son is coming to do, coming to bring righteousness to a world based upon wickedness. So a lot of people will lose their lives upon the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. This is Revelations chapter 17 verse 12 and the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings 
which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast, which is talking about the EU, the European Union being joined unto the beast, which is NATO. They're going to make war with our Lord Yahweh Shai when he returns. Revelation chapter 17, verse 13. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the lamb. The lamb is talking about Yahweh Shai. They're going to make war with our Lord when he returns. And the lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and king of kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. So they're going to actually make war with Yahweh Shai when he returns. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, which is talking about Yahweh Shai. The white horse represents the chariots. It says, And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. So Yahweh Shai is coming to make war with the wicked of this earth. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of the Most High. Because when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to put a lot of people to death. That's why it says, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, which is talking about the innumerable amount of angels that he's going to return with, all the host of heaven. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth go of a sharp sword, that with it he shall smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of the Almighty. And he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So Yahweh Shai is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he's coming back to what? Bring righteousness in the world based upon wickedness. This is Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 1. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, which is talking about Yahweh Shai, coming back with all the hosts of heaven, the angels. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. Like we read back in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7, it says, Behold, he come with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so to what? So all kindreds of the earth are going to be terrified. They're going to wail. They're going to be screaming, gnashing of teeth, crying, because they know when Yahweh Shai returns, it's not for their benefit. Yahweh Shai is coming back for the benefit of the elect, to bring salvation to his chosen elect, and to bring death and destruction to the wicked of this earth. Second Ezra 13 and 3, And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him, Whatsoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. Which is talking about what? The laser beams. Because the Heavenly Father's going to be shooting concentrated fire on you people and putting you to death. And they showed you a perfect example in that movie, War of the Worlds. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So many people are going to die by the hands of these chariots. The laser beams are going to chop up many of you wicked people out there. Second Ezra chapter 13 verse 4. And whatsoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth fell when it filled the fire. And after this I beheld, and lo, there were gathered together a multitude of men, out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So all the heathen nations are going to join up together to fight against the Lord because the Heavenly Father's Son is going to come back in the midst of World War III. He's going to come back in the midst of confusion, in the height of confusion. When all hell is breaking loose on the planet Earth, then Yahweh Shai is going to appear and what? Bring judgment to the Earth. So they're going to stop what they're doing and come together to fight the Lord. Like we read back in Revelation 17. Revelation chapter 17, verse 4. These shall make war with the Lamb, 
and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful, which is talking about his elect. Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 5, And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea, which is talking about what? The ozone layer, him coming from the outer space into the earth's atmosphere. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven and could not. So the prophet Ezra is describing the chariot that the Lord is coming back in as a great mountain. He couldn't see the start of the chariot or the end of the chariot. The whole chariot blacked out the sky. That's the way the Heavenly Father's Son is returning, with power and great glory. 2 Ezra chapter 13, verse 8. And after this I beheld, and lo, all which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet durst fight. So they're going to be terrified. They're not going to want to fight the Lord, but what is the Heavenly Father going to do? He's going to harden their hearts to fight the Lord. Just like he hardened Pharaoh's heart in the ancient world to not let us go so he can bring his plagues on Pharaoh. That's what the Heavenly Father is going to do to Esau and these heathen nations. Harden their hearts to fight the Lord so he can bring their utter destruction. And after this I beheld and lo, all they were gathered together to subdue him was so afraid and yet there's fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword, nor any instrument of war, but only I saw that he had sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, which is what, that concentrated fire, the laser beams, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon a multitude which were prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and the smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. So Ezra seen the vision of the Lord destroying all these heathen nations, and he was afraid. What Yahushai did is he sent concentrated fire out of them chariots and turned Esau's armies into power. They vaporized. All the fighter jets, all the top technology that Esau is going to come with to fight the Lord, they're going to be vaporized, destroyed within an instant. So they're going to make war with the Lamb. They're going to make war with Yahweh Shai, but what? They're going to lose. This has already been predestined. It just has to play out. So with that, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makal Kadash, Shalom. Rock the Yahweh, 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 Rock the Yahweh,